in this video i want to talk about pekin's crankshaft how you can install pekin's crankshaft that is what i want to talk about you can see that is the oil oh that is the, this is the crankshaft and this is the oil passage of the crankshaft you need to make sure that you throw the oil passage with a pressure liquid make sure that the oil passes to the other side for you to show that the crankshaft is clean and the oil passage is not blocked that's the first thing you must do before you install your crankshaft i would i will tell i'm going to tell you how you can install your crankshaft and i'm insisting on telling you that the first thing you must make sure your oil passage must be true don't allow it to block if your oil passage block the oil will not flow and that will make cause your engine seizure so before you install your crash after washing very well make sure that your oil passage is true then install your main bearing the downside you can see it has been installed and it has been oil the lubrication it has been oil make sure that the don't mistakenly put the up at the down one. You can see the down one has O, oil passage O, that the oil will penetrate. You can see I've installed the the main bearing. This is the main bearing. This is four cylinder engine. So the main bearing will be at least I think five in number. So this is the main bearing. It has been installed and it has been properly oil. You can also see your camshaft down there. Now this is your trust washer. The engine has thrust washer. This thrust washer is at the back, is at the center. It is the main bearing, the, the center one that has the thrust washer. Now the thrust washer, the, for this engine, for this package spun there, one town series, it has four. Two down, two up. You can see the way I'm installing it. You have to make sure that you install it for you, for in case for your thrust washer not to be falling, you can use grease. So you can put grease there so that the grease will help you. By the time you put the crankshaft, the crankshaft will not fall it. Make sure that you check it very well. By the time you drop, you install your crankshaft there, your crankshaft did not fall your trust washer. You can see, now I put my crankshaft. My crankshaft is there. You can see my crankshaft. Remember, at this stage, don't turn your engine. Because the main bearing cap is not there. If you turn your engine, it will turn over your main bearing so don't turn the engine that you put the crankshaft everything is set and i also make sure that my trust washer is still there now i put the cap as i put the cap i tuck it that can turn my crankshaft can i see as i'm turning this crankshaft that is how you must turn your crankshaft must go freely without any pressure do a pipe pleasure just a little with you want and you should be able to turn the four cylinder engine crankshaft you can see it's going smoothly i put my all my caps you can go the two sides should be able to go the two sides smoothly to be sure that your crankshaft installation is fine you can see i'm turning the crankshaft before you turn your end before you turn the crankshaft make sure that you put your Main bearing cap, put your main bearing cap, you put your main bearing cap, then you can turn your crankshaft. If you do that, ah, telling you, you are going to get this very, very, very right. You can see, turn it very well to make sure that your crankshaft is properly installed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is my job, and as I'm doing it, I'll be taking you along. Subscribe to my channel.